All right, thank you, uh, Coach, for your time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, as you mentioned, that you know, with the boys' programs having success, the the girls' programs are right on the cusp of uh, the cusp of that. Um, you mentioned a couple of things you thought that uh, this would kind of put them, um, you know, closer and closer. But well, what is what do you feel like it's going to take for the girls' programs to 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 get to that level, to get to you know where, where as you mentioned, states the goal every year, not just regional or, or something like that. Uh, as I mentioned, it's going to take a little bit of time. You know, for the population of the girls soccer to grow, where we can start choosing, you know, these other players, just like with the boys, um, they get a hundred kids, so they get to choose, you know, uh, from a hundred, you know, choose twenty that can play on a varsity. Uh, whereas with the girls, you know, we maybe have fifty, you know, so we choose from. So as soon as that population start growing, uh, of course, so is the talent, so is the skill, and uh, and that'll start growing the gap because our our teams are going to be a lot more more talented, more skilled and technically and and I'm mentally ready, you know, to play because um, with us, we're blessed here that we have the boys that make it so far that gives these girls that dream that, uh, you know, we can make it that far as well. Yeah. You know, and they do have that talent. Now, with, 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 that, with that success and, and then you just mentioned, you know, growing the population, what is it going to take for that? Is it, it just uh, trying to get girls maybe started earlier in, in youth programs or, or on club teams, as, as you were talking about? Or? Yeah. Um, the summer programs as I mentioned earlier, the, the summer programs, are, you know, it, it's an essential factor for, you know, the growth of, of our competitiveness, you know, to be able to meet, you know, the uh, um, uh, the northern the, the northern teams up there, you know, to have that to match their skills. Uh, but these summer programs are really, really helping, um, you know, the Brownsville leagues. Um, you know, we have a lot of, of girls going making regional finals and national finals and. Uh, um, as soon as that population start growing and these summer leagues, you know, they start expanding and now, you know, it started from one and now we have one, you know, we have different places where the girls can play now. Um, you know, here, just here in Brownsville itself, we have at least three or four different places where they can go out and play. And, uh, and those programs, those club teams, those, uh, organizations are the ones that are going to, you know, actually, you know, bring those girls over to us and we just kind of polish their skills and, yeah. you know, make, get them ready mentally, physically you know, technically for, you know, for the next level. Just, just, I guess just for kind of clarification, what, what do those teams uh, in the, in the, in the nor northern part uh, of Texas, what do they do that uh, maybe, uh, you know, the girls aren't doing here or, or haven't, uh, haven't got to that level yet? Well, uh, I believe uh, from what I see is that uh, they have actual coaches and trainers that stick with the girls, you know, and uh, up north, I, you know, it's more of the, because there's so many of them, uh, they have to pay, you know, and down here in Brownsville, and, and you know, the, the, the girls don't have that money, they're not economically, you know, stable, um, so um, I believe their, their coaching staff and, and, uh, um, and their trainers just keep them together um, and, and just training them, you know, and, uh, and it's, it's actually, you know, what's helping them. Of course, we have a lot of other things, you know, with, with height and strength and, you know, yeah. uh, things like that, that, you know, that, that do make a factor. But as soon as we can cut down, um, you know, get more more coaches, more, you know, more um, trainers out there to help the girls, I, you know, it, it'll really close that gap. Yeah. Uh, Coach, with, um, with the uh, women's national team, with the success they've had in, in recent years and, and uh, you know, a World Cup title and, and you know, Olympic gold titles and, and you know, do, do, do girls soccer players kind of see that or what is their, I mean, obviously they see the boys' success here as well, but um, is that kind of all-encompassing of, of uh, uh, you know, how they see and how the, score, how the sports maybe grown um, in maybe recent years, especially around here? Yes, it is, you know. When they watch those, um, you know, I know that the guys, you know, they dream, girls can dream as well, yeah. you know, and uh, they dream and they dream big as well. You know, their parents with the support of their parents and then bringing them up there with the love of the sport and the passion that they have, uh, we're, we're, we can get up there. It's going to get up there. Okay. Uh, and Coach, you mentioned that, uh, you, you yeah, again, you, you thought the girls were kind of right on the cusp of just, you know, playing for state titles just like the boys are right now. Um, do, you, do you feel like that's maybe just a few years down the road or, or I mean, um, how long do you think uh, it is 
going to be for, for the girls to kind of get to that level? Well, I can't actually tell you an exact <laughs> kind of, you know, a few, but uh, I would say within the next five years, within the next five years, maybe cut it, maybe I'll even, maybe even cut it to three. We're going to have a team, either from one of the Brownsville teams is going to go up there and be able to compete at the uh, state level. Okay. And I'm not talking about making regionals. I'm talking about going to the final four. Okay. Uh, and actually, Coach, this is the last thing. You mentioned um, a lot of the success you've had um, and a lot of success that Brownsville's had um, for girls. And you mentioned uh, girls coming back to coach and, and things like that. Do you feel like uh, with the success of them going to college and playing in college, you feel like the more girls coaches that, that come back, you feel like um, that will grow the, uh, the the sport even more for girls because they see, hey, I can, you know, I could be a coach. I could, uh, you know, and... I, I definitely, definitely believe that, that that encourages them. Um, if we were to have some girls uh, play soccer that played collegiate ball and coming into, you, you know, and start coaching, uh, I think that that open up the girls' eyes more, you know, the, the, the athletes here at the school, at the, at the high school level, that they're able to be able to do these things, you know, and they can, you know, get paid to do something that they love, you know, for the passion that they have, because they obviously, you know, if they played a high school and then they played at college, you know, it, it's a passion that they have and they bring that over here and the girls see that and uh, a lot of girls look up to these things and look up to these kinds of things. You know, um, uh, a lot of girls, you, you know, I, I, of course I'm a male, but they know that I play ball and I show them pictures of when I used to play and, you know, college ball, you know, you know pictures of, you know, our programs, you know, and, and you know, I just believe that if we have more females come out there and do this, that have actually played not just coach, but actually play collegiate ball, play it from Brownsville, uh, that would really encourage, you know, and even get the numbers up, I think, uh, for our girls.